Yun. Kamusta mga kameta? Sabi natin ngayon, mag-uusap tayo kasi kahapon, syempre, Sabbath day, kaya di tayo nag, uh, nagkaroon ng diskurso ukol sa politika. Pero eto na guys, so, nagsimula na yung week natin. By the way, later on, mag-interview na kami. Tuloy na interview namin, hopefully, ni Shao Chua. So, we'll discuss more dito sa issue ng kasaysayan. Of course, sabi natin, today, pag-usapan natin yung legacy ni Ninoy Aquino at yung approach sa legacy ng Ninoy Aquino under a Marcos 2.0 Uh, administration or regime uh, for that matter. no. Now, parati ko sinasabi na malaki yung mga parallels na nakita ko sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at uh, sometimes Russia and not necessarily for the best reasons. Mamay na yung parallels between Tatay Putin and Tatay Digong. Uh, to the point that even Tatay Digong had to sometimes make, oh, iba ako. Ako ang inaano ko, mga drugista, hindi mo. Ay, nako. Um, But one of the things that I always found very similar between Philippines and Soviet Russia, Russia for that matter, is that in the Philippines also, the past is unpredictable. Pag pinakinggan mo yung bawat administrasyon, sabi nila, pag kami ang presidente, best ang mangyari. Real change, sabi nga ni Digong, di ba? Sabi na three to six months, Singapore level. Ngayon naman, syempre, mga unity. Ayan na, maging Singapore na naman tayo. Isa pang six years, tignan natin. But interestingly, while the future is supposedly secured under supposedly great presidents, yung past natin ay nagiging iba <laughs> under every single administration or sometimes under diametrically opposed or different administrations. So for a very long time, guys, yung idea na si Nino Aquino ay uh, isang malak- malaking bahagi nung ating uh, struggle for bringing down a bankrupt and deracinated dictatorship, that narrative has been consistently upheld throughout many, many administrations. Uh, this was the case even up until recent years. No? So, hindi lang ito un- under the two Aquinos. But this year, guys, sabi ko nga, kung napansin nyo, dun sa article natin sa Time Magazine na pinost ko, I said very important na titignan ano maging approach ng kasalukuyan na administrasyon. Ito yung, uh, kasaluk- ito yung article sa Time Magazine. Ano yung maging approach ng kasalukuyan na administrasyon dito sa issue ng, you know, yung martyrdom of Nino Aquino or at least yung assassination niya doon sa what used to be the Manila International Airport and now the Nino Aquino uh, International Airport. There's a reason why that airport was renamed to Nino Aquino ay eh, dahil dun sa trahedya na nangyari of course uh, towards the end of the Marcos dictatorship at alam natin malaking bagay no uh, yung assassination ni Nino Aquino in galvanizing uh, the public no so eh oh gusto niyo magbulag-bulagan yung iba diyan pero tignan niyo mga pictures no yung mga larawan dun sa luneta uh, uh, nung when Nino's body of course was you know carried through and 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 you had you know hundreds of thousands if not millions of people no following yung kanyang yung procession of his uh diba tingnan mo niyo naman guys ito yung funeral procession ni Nino Aquino noon tingnan mo like at look at how many people were out there wala pang mga deep fake yung mga time na yan legit yung mga fake photographs na yan diba hindi ka tulad ngayon na Respect my onion, mga ganyan style. O, tingnan niyo naman, guys. This is what I'm talking about, di ba? Guys, ito, tingnan niyo. Google niyan, funeral procession. See, I mean, look at how many people showed up during that time. This was a seismic event in our history, in every sense of the word. Whether you agree or not with the Aquinos, whether you're a fan of them or not, doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, that was a seismic event, yung assassination na yan really galvanized people, and the anti-Marcos dictatorship movement, all right? which totally hindi niyo makikita doon sa MIM na yan or kung ano, kung, I don't know what genre that MIM falls under aside from, I don't know, speaking of chismis. Now, so kaya nga sabi ko dito sa Pilipinas, nagiging increasingly unpredictable, hindi lang yung ating future, but yung ating past, to a point na openly kinakontest ang isang factual truth. Hindi lang mga human rights violation na nangyari, but yeah, itong trahedya nangyari almost. No? I mean, 
so it was really dispiriting to see that over the weekend, hindi lang mga kung sino-sino mga trolls or mga kung sino-sino mga ignoramos, but you even had some, ay nako, some people who should know better yung pa Ninoy was not a hero, hashtag, hashtag pa sila. No? And we'll discuss a little bit more. Ito na naman tayo eh. Okay. I always made it clear na ako ay talagang critical sa buong political elite ng Pilipinas. Sa tingin ko, kung matino talaga ng naging political leadership and elite natin, we would not have found ourselves in the situation we are today. In the previous vlogs, diniscuss po natin yung issue ng education crisis, yung issue ng housing crisis. Marami pong ma- malalaking bagay, malalaking problema na meron tayo sa bansa dahil nagkakulang po ating leaders. So in my opinion, none, none of our leaders in recent history really pass my minimum threshold of what would define a truly great leader. So let me be crystal clear about that. Hindi tayo fanboy of any of them. Although I've argued that on the balance, on balance, I would say Ramos did pretty be- pretty much better than most of other presidents, right? Pero yung idea na we have had presidents na heroic or we have had anyone like Rizal in recent memory, I'm a little bit I'm a re- little bit skeptical about that. So, let me be very clear. I am not a fan of any political dynasties. In fact, for me, the presence of political dynasties per se is not a bad thing. But when you have so many political dynasties dominating so many offices in the country, no, 70-80% of le- your legislator, legislature, may malaking problema ka talaga sa bansa mo. So, please lang, okay? Huwag nyo idamay. Huwag nyo ako idamay dun sa mga kachipan ng away ng mga dynasties versus dynasty. I'm, so, I'm sorry, right? I'm not a fan of any of them, alright? I don't buy the cult of personality built around any of our leaders, contemporary leaders. Because none of them have been really great in any sense of the word. None of them brought about structural transformation na kailangan natin sa bansa. None of them made us 100% proud of that kind of leader. Right? Wala, wala, wala tayong ganun. Wala tayong Lincoln, wala tayong Roosevelt, wala tayong Churchillian leader. Kahit Zelensky level lang, wala tayo. So, let me be very, very clear about that. Alright? Now, I'm not a fan of any of these dynasties. No? Nonetheless, nonetheless, ayoko rin yung binabastos yung mga tao na hindi kasama dun sa mga corrupt na trapos. Alright? Ayoko rin yung binabastos, yung mga presidente natin, who, despite all their shortcomings, ay at least hindi nag-oversee ng massive murder, massive corruption, and all sorts of kalohohan. No? So let me be very, very clear about that. Let me be very, very, very clear about that. Okay? So let's start again from the beginning. Huh? We're not a fan of any of these dynasties. I'm not going to see, I don't see any of our recent president as great. As I said, Ramos was perhaps among the more competent ones. You can go a little bit back and I would say Magsaysay had a lot of potential. Okay? Rizal, ibang usapan na yan. Well, mataas ang tingin ko kay Rizal because of really the sacrifices people made for our country. Pero ang ayoko talaga guys dito is, binabastos yung mga tao na may good intentions, may ginawang medyo okay. yes. Medyo kapos yung ibang levels. Yes, tao sila, hindi sila perfecto. Pero binabastos mo yung mga tao na yan, including yung mga people who met tragedies, massive, just to elevate some other dynasties or trapos or something like that. Yan ang talagang nakakairita. Yan talagang umiinit ang ulo natin dyan sa mga ganyan style. So, you know, we can debate about what's heroism. We can obviously, I mean, Obviously, Nino Aquino was not a perfect person. Hello? Eh, galing siya sa political clan din. Of course, may ambition sa sa buhay. But to besmirch the person's memory, to denigrate the person, bastusin yung kanilang legacy. Or even, let's go to the to the two Aquinos who became our president. You know, Corazon Aquino and Nino Aquino, Pinoy, Pinoy, no? Nino Aquino III. Uh, sorry, Benigno Aquino III. They were not perfect presidents, obviously. I mean, whoever wants to argue that, I want to sa mga dilawan na yan. Well, it is not perfect to say because I think we, we, would, we should have done much more aggressive policies pagdating sa land reform, dun sa debt cancellation. Yes, and daming pagkakulang. Panon din ni Ninoy, uh, Pinoy, ba? Ang dami rin ng pagkakulang. I already mentioned a lot of that. Uh, I was very critical of what happened in Mama Sapan. I was very critical of lack of inclusive development. But let's be very, very clear. Hindi sila mga 
kurakot na presidente. I'm sorry. Hindi sila nag-oversee ng massive murder. Hindi sila nag-oversee ng massive looting of our country. Right? Hindi sila nag ganyan-ganyan dun sa mga powers na nag sa mga powers who are taking away pieces of our land and territories. Let's be very, very clear about that. Yes, they may not have been great leaders or truly transformational leaders. So this is where I disagree with some of our friends from certain side. But let's not forget these were not corrupt leaders. Let's not forget that they had truly great intentions. Let's not, uh, let's not forget that these people lived simple lives. Let's not forget that these people ay hindi nagkautaw dun sa mga authoritarian superpowers na nag-creeping invasion dyan sa West Philippine Sea. Let's not forget that these people did not oversee massive human rights violations and mass murder, etc. So let's put things into perspective. Yun ang parati kong sinasabi eh. Kung hindi ka believe sa kanila, okay lang, pero wag mong bastusin. At wag mong bastusin para ingat naman yung mga pinakatrapo, pinakatalagang malalang dynasty politics style. No? Alam nyo na sino mga yan. I don't even need to name names. Kaya ako... I never bought this argument na, you know, Aquino saved the country, they made us great and all. No, no, no. The Filipino people made ve- many sacrifices. Many reasons why we came out of the dark era is because of the sacrifice of Filipino people. It's because of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, all of these people who came out, no, to fight for the better Philippines. So, no, no, no. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't go along those lines, no. But, bastosin mo sila? And then, you try to besmirch them so that you bring up yung mga trapos and all, ah, yan ang hindi pwede sa akin yan. Talagang hindi pwede sa akin yan. So, yes, the Aquinos were not perfect, but that doesn't mean that they deserve to be disrespected and besmirched this way. Yun lang. Do not forget, among the least corrupt, in fact, totally non-corrupt presidents we have had, right, are the Aquinos. And Nino Aquino, as, as imperfect, as ambitious as whatever he was, we saw his transformation towards the end of his life, right? And this was the guy who went to the Philippines even if sinabi sa kanya na most likely papatayin ka doon. And yet he went, right? So what what bastosin, all right? What bastosin, right? I have I'm completely okay with saying these people are not perfect. I'm completely fine because they're not. And towering naman sila, of course. Pero yung babastosin mo, hindi pwede sa akin yan. Hindi pwede sa akin. Because that reflects badly on us as a people. That makes us like a banana republic whereby the past is even more unpredictable than the future. Yan pong hindi natin alam. Now, speaking of that, speaking of that, usually, may commemoration tayo at government agencies say something when this day comes, this, this, this somber day comes, this somber day that you know, more than three decades ago, back in 1983, almost four decades ago, brought, you know, hundreds of thousands, if, if not millions of people on the street, all right? Some of you are watching here, you had your family members there, all right? See, wag bastosin lahat ng mga tao na yan. Wag bastosin, okay? Wag bastosin. Because you, you are disrespecting our own country when you do that. Because this was not an effort of, an effort of one man, but an effort of millions of Filipinos who wanted a better future. And Nino Aquino happened to become a symbol of that after his tragic assassination in front of everyone, all right? Let's just, let's just be very clear about that. Now, that is why I can't but pay attention to a situation whereby the social media accounts of some government agencies ay nagaganyan. Nakikiride dun sa Marites at kung ano-anong kalokohan dyan, tapos yung iba naman, medyo parang delayed reaction pa. So for instance, now I wanna get their side. First of all, there was no commemorative statement whatsoever from the palace nung Sunday. The National Historical Commission of the Philippines, which had marked August 21 with social media posts back in 2020 and 2021 under President Duterte, on Sunday morning, Medyo wala. Uh, ang focus nila Sunday morning was Spanish-era Filipino propaganda movement. Okay? But in fairness, at least sa hapon, medyo nag-post sila ng tribute kay Nino Aquino. Alright? Among the few agencies that openly came out and showed support and commemorated the somber moment for the Philippines, not just the Aquinos, is the Human Rights Violations Victims Memorial Commission. 
Alright? So, ayon sa kanila, the Ninoy was a key figure in the opposition to the martial law regime of the F Ferdinand Marcos. Not the only figure, but a key figure. His assassination in 1983 became a turning point in galvanizing the resistance movement. This culminated in thousands of Filipino United taking on the streets three years later to oust the dictator. As Ninoy pleaded the day before his death, and in honoring his legacy, let us come together in true unity and understanding to realize a stand against a tyranny that divides us. Now, my investigation down in Yare, so ito yung PNP is probing some of the branches sa Batangas and Quezon kung saan ay nako, ito ah. So, uh, we're seeing all of this Ninoy, NPA, whatever. Speaking of Ninoy, NPA, have you seen yung pictures ni Tatay Digong with ano? Oh, ano? <laughs> These are politicos, alright? These are politicians. So, they meet people, they, uh, you know, if I'm not mistaken, we can ask our historians about this, uh, you know, Nino, uh, Nino back in the day tried to negotiate a peace settlement between Hook and the government, etc. Uh, you know, you can ask them about success, etc. So there are people who are putting all sorts of, you know, spins and conspiracy theory to this, alright? Now, there were apparently police stations that on Saturday posted anti-communist messages on their social media accounts and used the hashtag Ninoy not a hero, hashtag Ninoy NPA. Diyos ko naman. Diyos ko naman. Kung ayaw mo magbigay ng respeto, at least wag bastos, di ba? At wag makiride sa mga marites at saka mga ano, di ba? In fairness naman, sa Police Brigadier General Roderick Alba, sabi niya, the PNP does not engage in name calling that can malign any person's reputation. We value respect for human dignity. Oh, so at least, yung PNP's Public Information Office ay lumabas to make a clarification. The post had been taken down or now being investigated to determine those responsible for this. If anyone in the organization is found accountable, appropriate disciplinary actions will be imposed. So a lot of people found that utterly appalling. Na binabastos na, eh, binabesmirch, eh, eh, mal malicious at... Ito ba talagang bansa natin? This, is this the direction we want to go? Now, interestingly, just as some people try to disrespect Nino Aquino, pull out whatever from his past to kind of downgrade his tragic end, etc., and his contribution to the democratic movement, I mean, wala naman perfect. Of course, you can find something in the past of other people. Yung iba nga, you can find every day yung kapalpakan nila at lack of proper leadership nila, di ba? So I, as I wrote earlier, Nino Aquino's self-sacrifice marked the beginning of the end of a morally and financially bankrupt regime. To deliberately besmirch his legacy is not only morally repugnant, but is also an insult to our national struggle. Few things are as preposterous as holding two Aquino's presidencies solely responsible for our national predicaments. Is a pang kabubuan na nariniko is this? Okay, yes, it's true that we had two Aquino presidents. But to blame them for everything that went wrong 30, 40, 50 years ago? Wow, genius, di ba? At speaking of presidents who came into power and then left office with even more poverty, with more inequality and problems, alam niyo na sino mga yan. Guess what? Hindi mga Aquino yan. Alright? Yes, Corey should have aggressively renegotiated Marcos Odio's debt. And yes, Aquino should have pushed for hard, harder for, among other things, land reform including in Hacienda Luisita. Yes, it's a long list. But let's not forget that each of them replaced two deeply flawed predecessors that oversaw years of systematic corruption and brazen misrule. And while in power, neither Pinoy nor Corey ended up as Guinness Book of World Record level. Alam nyo na, trapos, slash, alam nyo na, enthusiastic supporters of mass atrocities and slavish enablers of the big bully that has been ravaging our resources in the West Philippine Sea. Never. They were not. They were not, okay? Let's be, let's be very, very, very clear about that. Alright? Very, very clear about that. Now, it's not disrespectful to point at basic facts, including the massive human rights violations that happened during the days of martial law and dictatorship. It is not also disrespectful to talk about some basic facts, economic facts. So interestingly, let me show you. In 1963, this is the IMF and World Bank data, 
This is the Philippines. 1963, ah, wala pa sila ano dyan, best president ever. Look at how Philippines was ahead of everyone. This is IMF World Bank data. This is 1963. Now, speaking of the best president who had 20 years in power, by 1984, nasaan ang Pilipinas? Number 4 ang Pilipinas. You see yung baksak natin in ranking in the region? So for a moment, let me put aside all the issues on human rights, democracy, etc. Just on the issue of economic development, we went from this in 1963, number one by far, to, to barely number four by 1984. And guess who was the president throughout much of this period of decline? I'm not even showing you GDP per capita. I'm not even showing you poverty rates, all sorts of other issues. You know? 20 years in power, not a single Hyundai, not a single TSMC, not, a, not even a proton Malaysia level, not even Indonesia level uh, industrialization, not. And then ngayon, babastusin yung mga Kinos for that, to cover up for yung kapalpakan ng kabila. Ayan tayo. Now, as I said, wag tayo fanboy dito ng any of the leaders. You know, even when I say some good things about some politicians, whatever, in this country, at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact that wala pa tayong great leaders for a very long time, right? I don't know. I think Magsaysay had the potential, right? But honestly, I don't see any of our presidents and leaders being really great. And then ngayon, babastusin mo pa yung iba para lang to cover up for some or iangat mo yung iba. Tapos ibayin mo yung kasaysayan. Tapos yung ibang government agency dyan, in, meron ng concern na nagsispread pa sila ng red tagging at saka malining a former ano, Filipino. Ano? Ayan tayo guys eh. Talagang banana tayo na ito. Banana talaga tayo dito. Kung ganyan ang usapin natin. As I always said, I am always fine with the proper evidence-based debate and discussion. Walang perfecto sa ating mga heroes. For instance, one of my favorite books is these books by Nick Joaquin, A Question of Heroes. Because dito pinapakita na hindi perfecto si Rizal, hindi perfecto si Bonifacio, hindi perfecto si Aguinaldo. They had many, many flaws as human beings. And yet, in the end, a lot of them sacrificed their lives, dedicated their lives to make the Philippines a better place. Yes, they were ambitious. Yes, they had their jealousies. Yes, they had their human frailties. But at the end, they were not trapos. In many ways, you can say Ninoy was the same. He was not perfect. He had his ambitions. He came from a political clan. He had his frailties. But he had his arc of redemption. He had his arc of transformation. And when he knew that there's a high chance, almost 100% chance that he'll be killed and assassinated, he still came here. The least we owe these people is wag natin bastusin. Now, hindi ka believe? Okay lang. No one is forcing you to be believed uh, at anyone. I mean, you're not forced to also believe in Rizal. You're not forced to believe in, uh, you know, it's okay. Walang problema. Pero walang bastusan. Huh? Right? And, when you talk about facts, including, this is where we were in 1963, number one in Southeast Asia. This is where we end up in number four, barely in Southeast Asia. By the way, this is just gross domestic product. Now tell me, how on earth is someone else the best president ever? Wag na tayo pumunta kay tatay. Ibang usapan niya, madipress lang tayo dyan. Maagang, maaga pang ano, uminit ng ulo natin eh. Oh, ito, speaking of tatay. Oh, ito ha? Ito yung IMF. Country with the worst growth reversal because of pandemic. Guess what? Number one. Number one na naman tayo, guys. Number one na naman tayo. Ito ha, zoom natin. Number one na naman tayo. Basahin nyo, Philippines, India. Gan... Proud na naman. Argentina, Mexico, Nigeria, yan. Talagang the best. Talagang ganyan. Ganyan po ang mga best presidents natin. So, ulitin ko, ha? I don't think the Aquinos were transformative leaders in the sense of bring, being, bring, taking the Philippines super to the next level. No, I don't think so. Marami silang pagkakulang. But the two Aquino presidents were redemptive presidents in many ways. They were not corrupt. They didn't oversee human rights violation. And as for Nino Aquino, who never became our president, but was a senator, etc., had ambition, etc., etc., sure. His tragic assassination and end was what galvanized our own people, guys. Our own people. 
to come out and ask for better Philippines. Unfortunately, hindi pa tayo dumating sa, le- sa yung gusto natin. But, wag naman natin bastusin. Right? At, wag natin kalimutan na marami pa tayong ibang presidente na sobrang kurakot at sobrang palpak. Right? Na hindi named Aquinos. Alright? Let's just be very, very clear about that. So yesterday was not about one family or one person per se. Yesterday was about this. Yesterday was about this. Yesterday was about this. This is what yesterday was all about. Sariling mga, sariling, yung mga ating kababayan, no? Including some of you people, maybe the older generation or your parents or someone who were there that day. Alright? This is what yesterday was all about. Okay, bago may itong ulo natin, tingnan ko yung ano ko. Itong mga siyatang natin dyan. Whew, basta, mabait tayo ah. Talaga mga ignoramos talaga. Minsan, they got on your leg. Whew! Kalmado lang. Kalmado lang tayo. Alright, pasalamat ako sa inyo guys. Babalik ako kasi meron pa akong ibang work and mga interviews na ako nagagawin ko on Taiwan, China, etc. So, balik na lang ako dun sa reality, ibang reality ko. But I, I really felt I had to come out and say this kasi talagang hinokontrol ko ng sarili ko. Siyempre, kapon, Sabbath day, etc. Ayaw ko makialam sa politika. Pero today talaga, I said I have to say something on this. Please guys, please guys, abangan nyo later on, God willing, kami nila, Shao Chua. Pag-usapan pa natin lalo itong issue na ito. Alright? Let's talk about facts, not marites. Alright? Facts. Evidence-based facts. And I always say, guys, huwag niyo ang santuhin yung mga leaders natin. At the same time, huwag natin bastusin yung mga tao na hindi kasama dun sa mga pinaka-corrupt, pinaka-human rights abusers, pinaka-anti-democratic, pinaka-authoritarian leaders. Yun ang mga dapat i-criticize. Alright? Yun lang. Maraming salamat dun sa mga nag-join sa atin today. I really appreciate it. Ito na naman tayo. Minit na mauli natin. Basensya na guys, ha? Proud na naman yung mga Troll Factory dyan. Mga Troll Times. Let me just say thank you to you guys. Kalmado, kalmado. Sir, sir, kalma lang. Sa panahon na ano, unity ang kailangan natin. Sige po. Ito po, unity tayo guys. Unity tayo ha, unity tayo. Ibang klase. Hi, patawarin tayo ng Diyos sa mga... Ay na, Kaw- ang pinakakawawa pa sa atin, yung, yung, yung mga tao pa na may pagmamahal. Pinakakawawa sa atin, yung pa yung mga tao na hindi kurakot, na hindi nabuso yung power nila. Yes, may pagkakulang, pero, you know, iba tal, Iba eh. Salamat kay Elizabeth Palakol for joining us, kay Danilo Reyes, kay Judith Thomas, kay Rose Uwe, kay Ikay Elneri, thank you very much, na imbag na Aldao. Same Kapsat, uh, Jisoo, salamat kay Salves Aguilar, kay Michelle Lumilan, thank you so much for your support, kay Grace Kitayama, ayan, kay Ian Pax, kay Alma, ayan na yung alarm clock ko for my next meeting. Ah. Okay. Thank you kay Ma'am Jocelyn, hello po, ayan, nasa QC po si Ma'am, Alma Alcar- uh, Al- Alcaraz, thank you so much for your support. Ayan. Watching from Japan naman si Kitayama. I can see that in your name. Why was I naman said? Thank you kay Mitch Tengcho. Ayan. Er- er- early pol- polka dots. Polka dots. Alex Sampilo, thank you for your support. Ayan. Eds Miss Criola, thank you for your su- uh, thank- Good morning. Good morning. Good Monday morning. And windang na ako. Lila Inocencio, thank you so much. Yan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kay Lilet Francisco, kay Elias Donlao, kay Marvin Carrado, thank you for joining us. Kay Annabel Gamoras, kay Emilia Bruce, uh, Brusas, thank you for joining us. Yan. Fuego daw, sabi love Amy. Thank you kay Fernando Rosauro, thank you for the stars and support. Thank you din daw support kay Evelyn Oreta. Thank you kay Irene Samaniego. Kay JC Sorensis. Thank you very much po. Kay Annabel Gamoras as always. Ayan. 
ba Japanese ang pinapost ni John? Alam ba? Penetrante, thank you very much. Yeah, early tayo today kasi hopefully later tonight. Iba naman yung gagawin natin. Melvin Chua, thank you for joining us. Ayan, si, Ga- si, si Carrie Norboneta ay nagpost from Thomas Jefferson. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Okay, medyo... Actually, that's a controversial quote, but I'll imagine I inspire kasi si Jefferson with the French Revolution too much. But we'll go to that later on. Leia Nicole, thank you very much. Eden Guiko, God bless din po sa inyo. Thank you kay Jisoo for your star and support. Yan. And si Serena Fink ay nag-agree sa atin. Yan. Thank you daw for acknowledging the legacy of Aquino. Sabi Ma'am Jocelyn, Fernando Rosauro. Ayan, nag-agree din sa atin. Kay Marvin Corredo, thank you for your support. Kay Bibo Esnagi, wassalamu alaikum. Thank you also for joining us. As always, kay Ma'am Fanny San Miguel, also very supportive. Dennis Racho, nag-agree din sa atin. Toto Jans, thank you for joining us. Edwin Balbona, thank you for support. Uh, very much appreciated. Kay Jonalyn Sedulo, kay Jis Su, thank you so much for your support. Kay Jenny Bautista, yun Yun eh. Ang dami niyong comments dyan. Ah. Wow. Talagang mainit tong issue na to. Hermalin Liwayan, thank you very much also for joining us. Don't worry guys, I'll post later on, uh, sa baba yung mga mention natin. Senan Makalalat, uh, including ito. Uh, ito ang katotohanan. Uh, who's not a hero? We went from here to here. Hero to zero. Okay? Class. Yan. This was what we were commemorating. Alright? Not a specific person or no. So, kung binabastos niyo yung tao niyan, binabastos niyo lahat ng tao nandito. Binabastos niyo yung sarili nating sakripisyo at ating mga aspirations for a better democracy. Thank you kay Senan. Thank you kay... Ayan na. May mga ano na dyan. Ha? Umayos kayo dyan. Uh, kayo magulo dyan. Ayan na. Nag-away-away na yung mga iba dyan. Thank you kay Dian Liasos. Kay Katrina Paladin Frias. Thank you for joining us. Kay Braff Pitt. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kay Justice League. You know, talagang may support system tayo. Ronnie Vitok, thank you for joining us. Kay JC Sorenses, as always, thank you. Ayan si Mitch Tengcho. Ayan, talagang wag tayong bastusan. What kind of country is that? And I know naman sino may pakanan yan, pero we don't even need, need to name names here. Wilma de la Cruz Ligot, thank you very much. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. So let's be very clear. I'm not saying perfect yung isang side and then all wrong yung isang No, I'm just saying my levels yan, okay? At wag natin bastusin yung mga list na hindi talagang hindi corrupt at least na hindi talagang hindi nag-abuso. Yung mga JC Sorenses, uh, ba? Jennifer Patawi, thank you very much. Daming comments sa talagang matindi. Azorich Boscano, Unity daw, Unity. Margaret Rodriguez, salamat for chamomile daw para healthy. Mitch Tengcho, again, my comments, si Naomi Tablare, yan. Ay, birthday nyo po! Ayan, happy birthday kay, kay Naomi Tabla, Tablare, Tablate. Yan, thank you so much. Thank you rin kay Maria Agnes Cacho for joining us as always. Kay Mai Matias, yan, Unity daw, Unity. Rodel Artus, ayan, watching from Sydney, daw sabi ni Ronnie Vitog. Watching from Saudi Arabia naman si Bibo. Snaggy. Roy Vargas, thank you so much for your support. Henry and Flore, Flo, Flor Delisa Rah, uh, Rahman, thank you for your support. Agnes Sabado, thank you for your star and support. Also kay Maricho uh, Holandes at uh, Yolanda Diego. Oh, pasensya na, I have to go to, na, to the, my next meeting. Medyo, we're running behind. I'll, I'll send my thank you later on. Uh, May message ako dyan. Thank you so much again for your star, for your support and everything. I really appreciate that. Basta guys, uh, please. Please lang. Alam nyo na. Alam nyo na. Basta. Alam nyo na. I've said my piece. Ay nako. Good luck sa bansa natin kung ganyan. If at, this tra- at this rate, as I said, the past is unpredictable in this country. Forget about the future. Kaya, ayan talaga. All right. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Señores, señoras. And later on, hasta pronto, no? Let's catch up and have more discussion on this, hopefully with our guests. Thank you very much. God bless. Adios.